The mother of a Mexican teen killed two years ago has slapped the U.S. Border Patrol with a lawsuit. Family members and attorneys spoke today at a news conference outside federal court in Tucson. The Border Patrol contends Jose Elena Rodriguez was a lethal threat, but the suit alleges he was not throwing rocks at the agents when they opened fire through the border fence. Ari Sala Rodriguez is calling her son's death a brazen and lawless killing. Valerie Cavazos joins us now in the newsroom with more on this. Val. After nearly two years of no answers from Border Patrol, the teen's mother says it's finally come to this. A 10-page civil lawsuit filed this morning against 20 Border Patrol and U.S. Customs and Protection agents identified only as John Doe's. Now, this civil rights case is testing a recent federal ruling on law enforcement's use of deadly force along the border. 16-year-old Jose Antonio Elena Rodriguez was here on Main Street in Nogales, Mexico. The suit alleges Border Patrol agents shot the teen 10 times through the fence. Virtually all of them entered his body from behind. Now the teen's mother wants the agent's names. At least know who was responsible for killing her son, why did they do it, and why aren't they being held accountable. ACLU attorney Lee learned charges the agents used excessive and unreasonable force, violating Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights. The suit comes on the heels of a federal appeals court ruling that extends the protection of the U.S. Constitution to citizens in Mexico. It cannot be that they can shoot a civilian 30 feet over the border and the Constitution doesn't protect them. They cannot exert force in this town in Nogales and then claim we can do it with impunity. Galern says he doesn't know if the government has taken any action in this case, a reason the lawsuit is necessary. Holding pictures of her grandson, the matriarch of the family, says they want justice. We just want the names of those people. We want to see their, their faces. We want to see them in court because those who kill are committing a crime. And they want a jury to hear the evidence. Now, the teen's mother could not attend this news conference because she cannot cross the border. Now, the attorneys are filing a motion this week or next to get those names released. Uh, we reached out to the Border Patrol for a response, and we haven't gotten an answer. Reporting from the newsroom, Valerie Cavazos, Kagan 9 on your side.